public officials, especially the president, positive to his tweet prior to the market open against this. Anyway, um, you know, look. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Friday, June 1st, 2018. Coming to you live from the Villa's crib in Los Angeles, California. Last day I'm gonna be here in LA for a while. Less than 24 hours before I leave. So, all right, let's make it on our way through here real quick. sure I can see myself <laughs> all right well guys that's it today is the last day I'm out here in LA um, as of tomorrow I'm gonna be in Mexico now again you know there's no vlog on Saturday so I'm not gonna be vlogging tomorrow um, I'm, I'm gonna be traveling doing a bunch of stuff but I am gonna start vlogging again on Sunday and hopefully have a special episode for you guys on Monday coming up all right, Sunday is still gonna get um, most likely the weekend review. All right, the usual one, and yeah, that's how we're gonna go. Now, again, I'm gonna keep this really, really short today because again, I have less than 24 hours left. I have a lot to do. I got laundry. I still gotta re, you know, you gotta pack everything, make sure everything's nice and tight and good, um, and, and like a million things I have to do still. But um, I just um, I want to start off by saying like, my goodness, wow. Thank you guys. I mean, thank you guys for all the love, all the support, the you know the few, the, the the ones I the ones out there that have you know given me a few donations. Wow, insane! You know, super crazy, humbling. Even somebody even sent me a whole freaking Litecoin. Man, thank you, whoever that was. Seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you, because you know that actually you know I completely had forgotten that I had to pay for you know my luggage. You know, like the care the not the carry-ons but the uh, the ones. Uh, what is it? The other luggage. Anyway. And so, like, you know, that would pay for the luggage, okay? And um, a few miscellaneous items for me to get from point A to point B so I can keep, you know, those 500 bucks that I had and that's not, not tap into it. Um, and it's, again, it's really funny because, uh, by the way, again, thank you, thank you, thank you to you and a few others that gave me five bucks here, um, a couple bucks here and there. But seriously, whoever gave me that one Litecoin, wow, super humbling, super thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyways. Yeah, like the longer the you know these last few days that I'm, I'm here in, in, the, in this country, um, I'm already kind of like almost thinking like in pesos and other you know other currency and shit like that. And as I'm just going about my day, doing things, buying you know the last few things, and you know um, it's just like man, everything is so expensive. Everything is so crazy expensive. You really really start looking and seeing as, as to like wow, this is insane. You know like how expensive things are out here in this country and in other developed places. But anyway. So this enough about that, okay? As you already got, you guys already know um, what you know right now. What this vlog is all is going to be all about. It's going to be about documenting my journey. You know, starting off in Mexico, and let's see where it's going to take me. Um, from from all from all the comments and the love and suggestions from from a lot of you guys, it seems like I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling, a lot of uh, you know um, cool stuff. All right, and. Um, and I look forward to it, all right? Seriously, I look forward to representing all of you guys and look forward to continuing continuing this process and spreading knowledge and just, you know, doing this. And again, I just really do feel that this is the real beginning, okay? Like the real, real beginning. I know you guys, a lot of you guys have been with me for a while. But, you know, again, for the new guys, for you new subscribers out there, um, again, this is the very, very beginning of this journey, okay? Yeah, um, we started off with just a few bucks and I'm gonna document and 
you know, share this whole thing with you guys so that anyone out there that wants to do this has a template to do this, okay? So, yeah, I mean, that's where we're at. So, I guess let's talk about the news a little bit. Um, again, you know, we can talk about the Volcker rule. We can talk about what happened today with Trump uh, sending out a tweet, you know, to send, you know, this tweet of some information he wasn't supposed to be divulging. It was insider trading, I guess, you know, on a massive scale, um, causing the markets to go up, as we already know. Um, yeah, th this whole thing is a fucking sham, and it's just, you know, being propped up. And, you know, how, how, more, how, how much more blatant than, you know, what they've been doing the last several days, whether it's like repealing that Volcker rule, whatever, or Trump this morning, or whatever. And as we're seeing also all around the world, what's happening right now, where, you know, where whether it's Venezuela or Iran, or I think India now, and then, you know, we have, you know, country after country, you know, creating their own coin. And just a few months ago, you know, we, we had, like, you know, we were all thinking to ourselves, oh, this can't work, this doesn't make any sense, you know, we need something to <clears throat> decentralize, you know, a, a, an actual country creating their own currency that goes up against everything that we talk about and, you know, you know what this whole space is about. But the reality is that that's what makes the you know bitcoin and the blockchain and cryptocurrency such a monumental change in and everything that we know of you know um you know in the human history in, in the sense of like so for example you know traditionally you know a country you know would just be able to print their own money and no other country would be able to really influence the value of the country's currency. So, for example, the reason that Venezuela, um, and there's many countries like this, but the reason Venezuela is going through hyperinflation for the most part is because the United States controls, you know, the value of the Venezuelan peso. You know, they're the ones that, you know, in a, in a sense, put that value on there. So, how can they circumvent this? Easy, by creating their own petrol coin. So, it's the same thing, like, with us. You know, I mean, why are we with uh, on Bitcoin and we're you know getting away from the banking system because the banking system is squeezing us to the brink of you know pretty much death they are not doing anything but you know just taking from us and so even at some point when they have no more to take from us they just throw us to the wayside and so we can't even participate in the system even if we wanted to so this is where bitcoin and cryptocurrency come into place where you know it doesn't matter we don't need the banking system we are our own bank so it's the same thing with venezuela iran you name it iran venezuela other countries are not allowed to function in the world economy because the united states does not allow them so what are they doing well they are creating their own currency becoming their own bank and thus allowing them to transact around you know around the world just like everybody else all right guys so as you can see, we're living through some crazy, amazing, beautiful times in human history. And um, I'm just going to leave it at there, okay? Because, again, keeping this super short today because I have a lot of things to do. And, um, yeah, it's still, it, it's early, but it's already, I feel like it's crazy late. It's already 10.30 in the morning. already been up for four hours. Had, you know, a bunch of errands. I had to run early, early in the morning um, before again, L.A., you know? So, like, you know, before everybody got out and started doing their thing. And that's it. Now I'm just here and just taking care of everything and that's it guys so anyways thanks again for watching i really appreciate you guys i really love you guys i mean you guys are my god beyond amazing hey that was me and um yeah look so look at all this cool art right look at that and again guys seriously you know so fucking humbling so humbling you know all the love all the support um the donations everything you know everything you guys have been doing and have done and will be doing it's amazing and it just makes me want to do this more and more and more and i'm so happy and so glad and i really do feel because of you guys that i am doing the right this you know making the right decision i'm oh, sorry there was some noise i don't hope i didn't wake anybody up making the right decision and doing what i need to do for you guys and for everybody and whatever all that means but anyways seriously thank you guys okay so last thing i'm going to say i noticed today i looked at my subscribers and i'm at 537 or 530 something i don't know a lot and wow crazy that has grown exponentially in just like the last few days wow <laughs> so again thank you guys so much all right seriously so much love i'm not going to hug you guys because someone commented i stunk so so I'm going to leave it there for now. And um, seriously.
please like, please subscribe, please share, 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 share the knowledge, all right? Share everything. Um, please keep, you know, keep, keep the movement alive. You already know what to do. Comments, whatever you can do, it don't matter. Even if you're just watching and spreading the knowledge, you're already doing your part. And um, that's it, guys. That's it. We're out of here. This is the last day here in L.A. So, bon voyage, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'll see you guys in Mexico. <laughs> Later. The snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> Hello. You boys like Mexico! <laughs>